This is Channel 7 News at 5. Good evening to you. The headache that has been the I-30 widening project in Saline County is finally making progress, and an ending is now in sight this year. Channel 7's Ashley Lunningham spoke with transportation officials today about the progress that's been made. She joins us now with this story. Ashley. Chris Beth, I-30 has been a long and drawn out process for everyone on the stretch since it started five years ago in 2019 and they just want to see it completed. Now, Dave Parker with RDOT says there is good news that they have seen in the past few months. RDOT put the heat on the construction company in charge of the project, asking the Highway Commission to put them in default until they could reach a certain deadline. Now, in March, the company completed what RDOT asked and move, moving the westbound lanes to the middle of the interstate, which Parker says was a big step in progress. Steve Arison with Visit Hot Springs says everyone from Little Rock to Hot Springs has felt the effects of this project. He describes it as a nightmare, but also says he has seen more progress in the past three months than in the past three years, and he hopes that continues. I think it's affected the whole state, not just our little section of I-30, uh, but hopefully, you know, the end is in sight. It, it looks like they're really moving on it. It's much, much better than it was before February for sure. And hopefully every day it's getting better and pretty soon we won't even be talking about it. Now, Parker says during the last commission meeting, they have put the default aside for now due to the company meeting those big deadlines. On your side, I'm Ashley Lunningham. And the news everyone wants to hear. Ashley, thanks very much. RDOT does estimate the completion date for the widening project will come by December of this year.